welcome back to my channel. So for those who are new here, my name is Shweta and I'm currently studying in the Netherlands. So today is Sunday and I woke up pretty early. I think it's just out of habit because like past two months have been so hectic and I'm so used to getting up early that I woke up early today and I didn't really have anything to do. So it was a free time. So I decided to come here. So this is Wal River and it's really a beautiful place. It's nice and calm here. There's a lot of greenery, so you can always come here and relax. So I usually come here and I thought today why not take you guys along with me. And I also wanted to talk to you about few things. So first, thank you so much for the love and support you showed for my previous video. I was happy to know that you liked the video where I shared about my research. So if you'd like to know more about my research, then please let me know and then I'll make more videos like this in future. So talking about videos, uh, last two months I did not make a lot of videos because I was busy. June and July were pretty hectic and packed because I had to write literature thesis, research proposal and I also went back to the lab for some time. Yeah, so I finished my first internship and it was a really nice experience. Now I just have to work on my internship report and my final presentation. So I was fortunate enough to have supportive and enthusiastic PI and supervisor. They always believed in me and they always pushed me to do my best so I learned a lot from them overall it was a nice experience I just wish that the internship had been longer though because due to COVID the internship had to be cut short and then I could not do all the experiments we had planned I mean we were going to try CRISPR and I was really excited to learn CRISPR as well as I was curious to know what will be the outcome but yeah we could not do all those experiments but nevertheless I learned a lot and I've also completed my literature thesis now I've sent it to my supervisor and now I'm waiting for his feedback. Hopefully there are no major changes and then I'm done with it as well. So I'm going to have a lot of time in August to make more videos. And yes, I'm also going to make videos on writing literature theses and proposal and share my experience with you. I'm sorry if it's too windy and I don't know if you guys can hear me clearly but I'm really trying to speak louder and there's no place where I can sit where it's not windy. So coming back, uh, there are, I've planned many videos for the month of August and there are many things to do. So this month is going to be very busy as well and I have to take one very important decision in this, in this month. So I'll tell you guys what that important decision is. So the first thing I have to do in this month is I'm moving to a new place. So I have to move out of my current housing. The contract is usually for one year and now I'm moving to a new place. I still cannot believe that it's one year that I am living here in the Netherlands. Time just flies by. At least last few months were pretty hard for everyone around the world. And But still, I just didn't realize how time passed away and I cannot believe that it's been one year. But yeah, I'm moving to a new place. This house was nice. I'm not complaining, but it was nice. It was close to the city center, but still there are some issues with regards to private housing. So uh, I would suggest that if you're coming to the Netherlands for your studies, then if you get an offer from the university for SSH, then please accept it and go for it. So I think SSH is available in all the major cities and when you apply, the university gives you uh, an offer to accept the housing in SSH. So if you get it, then do accept it because it's one of the most convenient and secure housing for students here in the Netherlands. Unfortunately, I did not get an offer for the SSH and I got an offer for this place. But yes, it was nice. I've almost spent a year in that room and now I'll be leaving that place and moving. So hopefully you will see my moving out vlogs. Coming back to the most important thing or important decision that I was telling you guys about is my second internship. So my second internship will start somewhere in November and I've got an opportunity for the internship at Oxford University. And if things go well, then I'll go to London. And I'm really very excited about this and nervous at the same time because it's Oxford and the thing is I don't know if I'll still be able to go to Oxford University for my internship because due to COVID the situation is so uncertain that you really cannot plan things ahead of time now. If there is a second wave of infection then maybe I'll not be able to go. But if I have to go then I have to take the decision by mid-August because then I have to start the visa process and it will take at least three months for the whole visa application process. So I'm currently in talks with the supervisor at the Oxford University and also in contact with my university and international office and I'm still thinking whether I should go or not. 
even the supervisor is very supportive and she's really nice and the area research area is also what i really wanted to do it's in the area of cancer metastasis and i was really looking forward to learning uh, more and doing more experiments but if we are not able to go uh, to the institute or university where we applied for our internship then we have to shift to a computational internship so i don't really want to do a computational internship because i want to go in the lab do wet lab experiments i really don't i don't i'm not saying that i don't like data analysis but when i do the experiment and then my and then i analyze my data it's fine so i don't want to go for entire computational internship so let's see let's hope for the best and if i'm not able to go then i'll probably do my internship here in the netherlands itself so let's see so for now i'm just going to sit here and relax for some time uh, read something or listen to music and then i'll go back i really wanted to get it right trying to find some balance in my life but i never really put up a fight didn't follow my dreams and now i'm losing So I spent a lot of time here. I was just going to be here for another 30 40 minutes, but now it's 2 hours since I'm here. And it's really so nice here. It's sunny and there is nice cold wind. So I just didn't realize the time. So now let's head back home. So I'm back to my place and I was really hungry so on my way I grabbed some falafel and salad so now I'm going to have lunch and be productive for the rest of the day I got an email from my supervisor and he has sent me feedback on my literature thesis and luckily it's not a lot there are no major changes to be done so now i'm going to work on it for the rest of the day let me show you my literature thesis this is my literature thesis i've been working on this and my research proposal for the past 2 months and i'm i'm happy that i've completed it and i've also received some nice feedback from my supervisor i've also made some nice figures for literature thesis and also for my proposal i really like to make figures it's it's really time consuming and you have to focus on very small details but still i enjoy making some good figures because for me i really understand well if there are nice good explanatory figures and i'm more of a visual learner And if you're also a visual learner like me, then you should definitely check out Draw It to Know It, who are also kindly sponsoring this video. So I have been using Draw It to Know It for past one year now, and it has really helped me in all my studies in understanding the concepts and practicing for diagrams. So let me tell you what exactly is Draw It to Know It. So Draw It to Know It is a great platform for medical and life sciences students. They cover a broad range of topics. which are organized into various courses you can also check the other study bundles which are available on their platform now let's take a look at what a typical tutorial looks like so here on the side there are notes and here is a image of what you will be learning and here comes my favorite part they draw and teach you what you are supposed to be learning and also you can pause and practice the drawing yourself and if you get stuck then you can check the file image to see if you are doing it right and then you can get read of the video and the image which you made and then practice it again i use drawing pad a lot and it has helped me a lot in understanding various concepts yeah so please do check draw it to know it it's a very good platform for medical or life sciences students and also for those who are preparing for the medical exams i have been using it and it has helped me a lot in my studies so do give it a try and if you follow the link below in the description then you can also get a 25% discount on any of the packs or subscriptions of droid to know it 
so that's all from this video and now i'm going to get back to my thesis writing and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching and take care